those shoulders. What's up, guys? So, it's another edition of Hey, the Buzz teaches everyone how to play their character even better because the Buzz is a top 10 player in the world. Let's go with the Buzz, right? Right? Yeah, let's go. I'm pretty humble, I think. The characters in this one are just, uh, characters even offline you don't want to fight, but especially online, you just look at them and go, oh. Except for Wolf. And so, let's start off with Rob, everyone's favorite character, right? So, Gyro is one of the most disgustingly broken, powerful, unfair moves in the game. It's a good projectile, right? But I'm not going to talk about using it as a projectile. I'm going to talk about using it as something even better. An item. Because as an item, it is absolutely nuts. Well, it's a fun little fact with Gyro. Um, if anyone does not know, Gyro always sends you in the direction, um, if you Z-drop it, that Rob is facing when he Z-drops. So I like do this. It's going to send him to the left, right? If I do this, even like here, hitting his back, it's going to send him to the left. Do this, sends him to right now. As an item, Gyro is absurd because Rob has the tools to exploit it. First of all, he has a laser, right? So he gets to mix up camping with projectiles, even with having the gyro in hand, which is kind of common, right? Like a character having an item in hand, you know, throw a projectile, special, whatever. But Rob's laser and gyro camping is so absurdly good. And because it's an item, out of shield, Rob is basically nuts. He hit his shield, he's doing this, and you basically can't pressure, really. Like, it's really hard to attack in reversal. And, one of the scariest things is, is Rob just kind of like being around like here. Because now he can choose to toss it at you. He can choose to z drop and pick it up with an aerial, either forward air or nair. Which, one who does not know, you can z drop an item by pressing the grab button in the air, and then you can pick it up with an aerial by c sticking an aerial, or doing the A button by like c sticking it. So for me, I do z drop with L because that's my grab button, and I just like c stick it unless I'm nearing. Yeah, so you can mix people up at like any like this range with the aerials and items so well, and your projectile, and your side beat. And this is absurd. Let's show me above someone's e dropping it. I don't see raw players do it much, I don't know why. Because like you do that and you just get so much nonsense off of safe pressure. And to top it all off, once the scariest thing you can do is fight a raw player just like this. Put the jar behind you. And now this is stopping a lot of space, right? Kinda like the Kong Banana. So if they push you into it, you're just gonna pretty much die. And it really makes the game just hard to play. Especially if they do something like this, you know, like so I'm facing to the left, so I z-drop it this way, and then I down to him. So raw players, I wanna see you start using z-drops and stuff for your game plan. I mean I don't want to, because I hate you guys. They're your character really, not you. I'm here to help everyone playing any character. Except Fox means. Sorry, y'all. I, I still have like found only one more of you online since the last time I talked to you guys. Well, let me just say right now, the Toon Link Smash Discord is by far the most helpful character Discord of any Discord I've like interacted with when trying to learn a character. So I just want to say, if you ever have trouble with a character, you can probably go to Toon Link Discord. I think they'll just help you out. Now, for actual advice, um, don't ignore uncharged arrows. It's kind of a standard projectile, but I feel like Toon Link players kind of like ignore it in favor of like throwing boomerangs and bombs, right? Because they're fancier, cooler projectiles. But this right here is good. It's area denial. You can follow up straight into like grabs with that. Unless you pressure really well and get up close. And if you can get up close with Toon Link, he has some really nice frame data and some decent buttons. Like you gotta be a monster in like someone's face, surprisingly. Yeah, so just don't be afraid to like do this a bit more. You know, can't keep loud because it kind of interrupts like slower projectiles as well. Toon Link's mobility lets him kind of run around and use this very really it's actually really annoying and yeah it's pretty simple vice but definitely worth learning learn to use these air a little bit this is something that took me a very long time to learn properly it wasn't until more recently i did but like your zare is an extremely good move because how safe it is the range and if i can kind of like get like follow-ups off of it so it's one of those things that kind of similar to the, the uncharged arrows where i feel like people don't use it much because it's not flashy but like it's actually really solid for being annoying so Wolf. For this character, something I see a lot of Wolf players do is they just kind of jump around and spam aerials, right? And Wolf's air mobility is insane, and you should be jumping around spamming aerials and burning your double jump even neutral sometimes for that. But the character's issue is definitely, you know, fall speed is one of them, and lack of disjoints, so he gets challenged by stuff very easily. So something that happens a lot of Wolf players is they start jumping around spamming aerials and just start getting swatted out of the air by like swords or really anything, right? And then I realized I don't use laser. And I'm like, hey, look, it's another projectile for this video to talk about. Anyway, this move isn't quite a camping move, 
You're not gonna like, you know, beat a Rob using your laser. But what this move does is it conditions people, right? Someone can't just like jump at you that easily if you're like doing like this and then reacting to the jumps with like something. People can't be like throwing hitboxes preemptively at like this range in case you might laser. And basically laser just denies a lot of area and movement from the opponent and makes them have to kind of stiffen up which lets you jump in a lot more as well. Because Wolf wants to be just jumping out freely, spacing and pressuring. And you make your opponent not willing to swing as much and outrange you in order to do that. So that's why the laser is here. All this move is massive and transcendent. So it's hard to get over and you can't like clank it with attacks. All right, if you're playing Villager, just because you can side B, it doesn't mean you should. I see this mistake quite a bit where Villager players will be like here in neutral, which is kind of doing whatever, and they start side being. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to run at you and hit you then. Like, thank you, bro. Or like the side be in like weird spots like this, and it's like easy, just smack them with anything. Or they go off stage and they'll be like, still on the recovery with side B, and it's like, you know, one hand they get a side B out, but on the other hand, it's so easy to jump over that and pressure them. And I just feel like it's one of those things where oh, I got my controller, where you want to want to use it, but because of the start of the move, it's, in fact, that's like not a hitbox until like a certain part of the move. It's, you you can't just use it freely. He does have like some decent range with his aerials, fair bear, up air, down air, but like having these bad blind spots at the diagonals means it's very easy to catch a villager at really hard from the challenge um, places. If he's spending time stuck in this move, as opposed to just, you know, moving into better spots and playing, spacing with other faster moves. All right, Mega Man players. Um, first of all, watch the videos on Diddy Kong and Rob because they definitely applied you with the items. And now, lemon movement. Something that I notice a lot about online Mega Man players is they just don't care for lemon movement anymore. I just see them forward smash a lot, side B, and like neutral me, and I'm like, where's the lemons? Where's like the best and funnest part of this character? But legit, just, it's not typically a character, I'm just to say, go into the lab and practice your lemon movement, because I bet it's stiff. You want to be able to consistently with this character, get like, the hitbox when you jump with the lemons, so you get that knockback, right? Because it's kind of unsafe if like, you do this approach to someone. But like, if you get like, I don't play Mega Man, so I'm judging here. If you get like that consistently, it makes me very safe. And then, even just being like comfortable doing things like this is very important, right? Like jump forward and like jump back with this. It lets you control a lot of space. Like this right here is a lot of space you can control very easily. And it's not much damage, but it's annoying, right? And once you control the space and start doing things like this, you can also start doing things like this and pressuring people. So doing things like this and condition people for grabs. And there's just so much you can do with this character. If you're really comfortable like this close to mid-range lemon movement. And confirms. So don't, don't shy away from that. Even though you have all these projectiles, Mega Man is not as much of a long-range zoner as a lot of people like to think. At least based on Elite Smash. Alright, we fit trainer players. Do not be afraid to move around and zoom around and all that stuff. Because this character is low-key like tall fox with how fast she runs around. Especially when you have like deep breathing and now you're just hitting people for chunks of damage. It's like you're tall fox but also getting adorable. And something I see a lot of Wii trainer players do is they kind of focus a lot on their projectile game. Like just, you know, doing this, this. And while it's annoying and can work, it's kind of a gimmicky style I'd say. Right, when someone knows how to deal with like this Wii Fit style, I just can't think with the projectiles and healing up a little bit. Y you kind of just run into this like giant wall if you can't progress. So being comfortable abusing the fact that her air movement is really good. She's thin, so she's kind of worth hit. Also, she like has animations that make it hard to like her jump, which she kind of twirls in the air. You know, her crouch is really nice, and you should be very comfortable using this crouch to avoid attacks. Like. And then you have some deceptive hitboxes, like forward tilt's kind of deceptive, down tilt, up tilt's insane anti-air. And really, because of all those buttons, you, you can just BC an opponent's face and like really fight them up close. And abuse the fact that you're so fast to like go around with punish people and be like almost impossible to hit it feels like. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. So guys, if you like this video, you know the drill. Follow, like, subscribe. All that stuff. Call me beautiful in the comments below because I I feel like I feel like being told I am the most gorgeous person on earth today. So just do it for me. Why not? With that said, everyone, I'll see y'all next week for the next video.